Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move the title and caption text of the Divi Gallery over top of the images. So by default, they're below the images. We're gonna move them up over onto the images. So here's how it would work by default, uh, the gallery, the caption, or the title here, and then the caption here. We're gonna put it over top. All right, so if you're on YouTube, you can of course follow along here on our blog. That's linked in the description. So we're just moving the gallery text over the image and we're gonna show you how you can center it, how you can put it on the top or at the bottom, the left, or right, that kind of thing. All right, the very first step is to add a CSS class. So you can see it right here, PA gallery text over image. We're gonna go ahead and add it into the module. So you just open up the gallery. There we go, advanced tab, CSS ID and classes toggle. Paste that right there. All right, so there we're, we're basically, that's, that's the step we're doing to add, to target this module with our CSS and our jQuery. Now, the next step is to add the jQuery. And what we're doing here is there's, there's, two, there's two elements. There's the title text and then there's the caption text. So it gets a little confusing if we try to move them both separately. Um, we, we, we end up applying like CSS to the, to the title and then we move that. Well, then we end up applying more CSS to the, to the caption and we're moving that and then we're, we're battling it out. It's a lot simpler if we only have one element to move. And so this jQuery, all it's doing, this little step of the jQuery, is combining those two elements into one. In fact, you can see it in the code. First of all, we're targeting the, the module that we've, you know, we just added that class, right? And then we're saying gallery item each, um, and then taking the title, that's the class for the title. And then look, here's the class for the caption. And we're wrapping it into a new one, and we're calling it PA gallery text. Now, you'll notice later, like in the CSS, we're targeting Right here, PA gallery text, when we're actually moving it. All right, th that's just a little explanation of what we're doing. But basically, go ahead and copy this. Um, you could put this in your Divi theme options in the integrations toggle. Right here, you could put it in here. You could go down here and paste it there. Okay, next step is the CSS. So we've already you know, basically set up our gallery. We have the images in, I mean, I didn't show you that, but I assume you do. Also in the WordPress backend, make sure that you actually have the caption and title text written. So in the media library, right? So um, let's see, I guess one of them was this. Right here, you can see I have a title and then a caption. That has to be written in, in WordPress here, right? See, your title goes here, caption goes here. That's what we're showing. And then also I didn't really mention, but I hope it's obvious that you would need to have that turned on. Show title and caption. See that? That needs to be turned on. Otherwise they won't show. And if you only want to use one, that's fine. If you only want to use the, the title or the caption um, back here, then just put one or the other. That's fine. It will still work the same. But anyway, to this next step, now it's the CSS. So we can also copy this and put it into our website. You can put this also in theme options, you know, down in this in this main CSS box. This is where I recommend it unless you have a child theme. If you have a child theme, then put it in the style.css file. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right here. Because of what we're doing here, we need to get rid of this overlay. We're actually adding our own overlay. So go in here to the design tab to the overlay and just mark transparent for the for the overlay background color and the icon. Those cannot exist. Um, we're actually adding our own overlay and that's the only way that it works so that we can see, read the text. Here, I'll show you. And now we have the next step is to change the text color. Uh, that would be changing it to something white or light. Notice in our code, we add it right here. We say background RGB 171717 17, 17, and then 0.8. That's that, that's that um, background, right? That's this color that when we hover. Now, knowing that we need have a dark background, 
go in here to the title text and just I'll just make it white. Just make and the caption text. I'm gonna make it I, I'll make it white just for <laughs> simplicity, alright? Um, now we'll be able to read it. There you go. You can see that dark collar comes on when you hover. You know, obviously if you just show the text over the image without that. I mean I can change this, this dark collar, but look how nice that works. You also notice we have it in the lower left corner. We can change that. I'm gonna go into the code and show you that. But let's just say I made this really light. Instead of 0.8, I'm gonna say 0.2. Just to prove the point here. You can see it a little bit. And if you want that effect, by all means adjust it. That's totally up to you. Okay, maybe I'll put it on 0.5. Now the other thing that I said about changing, in fact, I have it written here below the snippet in the blog post. So right above here, also notice I say justify content flex end. Okay, again, this is in this, this code snippet right here. Justify content flex end. That's what's putting it at the bottom, like at the, at the end, if we wanna say, of, of, of the column, because we're saying flex direction column, right? So think the text is at the end of the column, okay? Now watch what would happen. Here you can read about it right here below here, but let's say I would change it to flex start instead of end. Watch this. So you, you know what's going to happen, right? It's going to go to the start of the column instead of the end. So now the text is at the top. And by the way, you can adjust the left and right alignment in the module settings. That's just the text alignment. Um, okay, but then the other option would be to do the justify content center. Okay, we can get rid of this uh, flex start and say center. And that would be nice if you also align the text to the center, I believe. Meaning if you go in here to uh, the text, I guess I could probably use just that one. I hope that overrides the other one, just text rather than title text and caption text. Yeah, see there it's nicely in the middle. So you may want that. So again, to do that, you would just use the justify content center and then align the, the text center. Um, what else do I have here? Hover effect. Oh yeah, you could do this too. So basically when you hover over it right now, the text appears. It's hidden and then it appears. So I guess the point here, you may want to always show your text. I guess I was thinking like, I like the effect of it appearing. So let's just go in here and you'll see here, look for opacity. Where, where do I have it? Oh, I have it right here. Uh, opacity is zero. I guess you can see it better when I'm when I'm in here. Sorry about that. Okay, so in the regular, just we're targeting the text. We're saying opacity zero. All right, but if you notice over here where it says hover, we're taking this same snippet and we're saying when we hover, then we change the opacity of the text to one. So you could change that. Now watch what would happen if I would go in here and change this to just to one then the text will show all the time. See here, it only does when I hover. Now it's just showing. So there's no, there's no real like hover effect, okay? That also is an option. But these things are totally up to you, how you wanna position it, how you want the overlay of the background, the color of the text, the alignment. Yeah, whether you want it to appear on hover or not, or just show all the time like this. These are all things you can decide. So I hope this whole tutorial was not too complicated. I know I it maybe it didn't feel the most organized or something, I guess because there were so many variables. So I hope that in spite of all that, that it was helpful to you. And if so, let me know. I uh, appreciate all your comments and likes and things like that. All right, well, we do this every Tuesday. So if you are subscribed, this is the kind of content you will get. All right, well, we'll see you all next week in our next video.